So guys, I know you've gotten this question like a thousand and one times, but I really want to know how it felt knowing that you were the final six for the just concluded Bibi Niger for I'm shining your eye. That question is for all of you. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All of you. <laughs> be free to be free. Feel free. I answer. felt okay. I felt great actually getting into you know the top six because, like I said, I did not expect to get to the finals. Hmm. So you know it was really surprising. And seeing as this is the first time there's ever been a top six was like wow, mm. mind blowing. So yeah, definitely, it was a good feeling. All right. Yeah. What about you, white money? Well, most definitely it was. That was when I was in the game when I got to the top six. All along, I just said, okay, let's do this. But when I got the top six, that's when I felt like, yeah, what? we're doing something right. We're doing something right. Just stay on that part. That's it. Okay, what about you, Likwa? Uh, felt, <laughs> felt overwhelming, man. It felt um, like, cause, you know, when I got to the six week, I was, like, I was just having sure, like, oh, man, if I can make it to the finals, it would be great. So top four, top six, top five, I was in the finals. That was overwhelming. And that was when I knew, like, man, this is the real deal. Mm-hmm. Like, we're in now. What about you, Mano? Empire? Oh, um, yeah, the whole experience was um, was a step at the time for me. I didn't see most of the steps I took coming. And, I mean, me getting to the, the top six was a lot for me to take in. Because, I mean, everyone knew how the whole game was and how it all went. But then uh, it's, it was a miracle for me. And it was overwhelming. And I'm, I'm really grateful. Word, and I feel word, excited word. and good. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Perry? Oh, yeah. Well, for me, it was... Uh, I didn't see all of that coming, really, because when I got in the house, my goal was to shoot, stay till, like, what, four weeks, mm-hmm. five weeks? But, you know, part of what I decided to do that helped me out eventually was to mentally prepare myself for just about anything. Mm. I tell people, you got to prepare. You got to expect the worst, prepare for the best. Or rather, prepare for the worst and expect the best, rather, you know. So, I leave every week in the house as though it was going to be my last. Okay. And that really helped me out. But, hey, being top, being part of the top six was uh, quite an experience. I'm All grateful. right. What about you, Cross? Yeah, definitely. The thing literally, you know, choked me so bad that I couldn't even breathe some time. But, yeah, I was super, super excited to survive through that because I didn't even know how it's going was going to be i remember i was telling people to stop talking about outside because i legitimately didn't know how it was going to be mm. i didn't care i just i know last last i'll be okay do you understand yeah but yeah coming out and seeing this is overwhelming so i'm really like super super grateful and i can't wait to show the world who really, really, really i am and like just go on this journey with you, every one of every one of the guys too as well all right just speaking about going on a journey para just going on a journey with you inside the bb niger house i mean yeah. you got the name general para yeah you know a, a lot of your fans referred to you as just being quite cocky you know overly proud but now juxtaposing the para of beginning and the para of the end what really happened you know who really is para are you this cocky bossy person or are you just this guy that loves to go with the flow and have fun w- with people well i mean uh, cocky bossy that's people's opinion uh, people are entitled to your opinions but you know i'm very assertive i'm going to define myself as being uh, a person or a guy who actually knows exactly what he wants i'm a straight shooter straight talker i don't dilly dally i go straight to the point when i express myself and I'm also a very emotional person in the sense that I'm in rather in, I mean I'm in touch with my emotions as well. So the pair you saw at the beginning of the show and the pair you saw at the end is me. Two sides to a coin in it. A coin doesn't have one side, it's both sides. That makes up the coin. So the beginning pair and pair, it's all pair, baby. Okay, and and just to you on being expressive, Angel, we know that you're one person who just did not give two about anything. Very good. Is that for the entertainment on the show or is this is that you as a person? Who who is Angel? Are you that person who just doesn't care about anything and you do whatever it is that you want to do? Or was this solely for the purpose of oh let me give them content? <clears throat> Testing one two three. One two three. <laughs> <laughs> um no, it wasn't solely for the content. Um I'm a pretty intense person. And that shows in like my self-expression. 
And in the grand scheme of things, it's not that I don't care about anything. I mean, when it comes to work, business, you know, writing, I'm serious. But when it comes to my self-expression, no, I do not try to turn down or edit myself or anybody. So that is exactly who I am. And I feel like, I mean, it's not everybody that's going to like it. So those that like it, like it. And those that don't move aside, that's yeah. it. But yeah, it wasn't for content purposes. Like... My, I feel like most creatives are pretty intense in this with their self expression, and yeah. I'm a creative, so that is exactly how I am. On a scale yeah. of one to ten, how intense was your attraction to cross? Oh my god, here we go again. Here we go again. Um, on a scale of one to ten, <laughs> ten. Ooh. Why is everybody quiet? Did that come as a surprise? I'm trying to look at his face. Cross, did that come as a surprise? Of course. Yes, definitely. So, um, no, now my question is, haven't you guys had, like, a conversation after? Like, now that you're out of the house? Because yeah. I'm surprised that you're surprised. Yeah. Have you not have a com- had a conversation ever since you got out of the house? Because you should know Angel by now. You, today you're talking to her, tomorrow she's not talking to you. So, literally, she stopped talking to me. First of all, we haven't had the time because we've, mm. we've been having media runs. But you haven't spoken to me. Well, just yesterday or two days ago, we started talking. I sent you my number. Oof. When? On iMessage. You don't have my number. I have your number. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this revelation. Okay, so Cross, do the needful. Look for the message because she clearly sure. sent you a message. No, I'm 100% sure. Yes. You know what? What's their something else? Their family <laughs> issues. <laughs> Let's move over here for a yeah, second. <laughs> but I love that Emmanuel coming into the house. You said that you had a crush on Liquor Rose before you got into the house. I said huh? that. Did you not say that? Um, I, when did I say that? This was at the beginning. That I had a crush before I got, got into, into the, the house. house. Yes. I I don't recall. Do you recall everything that happened in the house? Most of it, yeah. Yeah, but that part we remember you saying. But as okay, <laughs> since you decide not to recall that part, but getting into the house and seeing Licoros, was this love at first sight or was it you getting to know her and then building that attraction with her? It was basically me getting to know her. And of course, her personality is amazing. She, She's calm. She's, she's the opposite of me. I'm calm. She's... You know, energetic. She's yeah. talented. She she has a lot going on for her, and she's very focused. And she has an amazing mindset as well. So it was the process of us getting to know each other that you know just kept going on with the flow. Yeah. So basically, that that was that was it. And even up to outside the house, we still know what we went in there for. So it's basically about us pushing what we want to do as individuals and as mm. brands, and of course. So keeping the connection we have in check. So how are you able to balance that, you know, knowing that you liked her? You know, it's it's one thing to say, oh, I want to always remember what I came here for. You know, I came here to maybe build my brand or whatever the case might be. But you are in a somewhat confined environment. The only people that you're seeing are these sets of people. Mm-hmm. And you have someone who you are so attracted to. So how were you able to strike that balance? Uh, the good thing was that what we had was not a situation that was distracting me from what I went there to do. Mm-hmm. It was more like a situation where we were encouraging and motivating each other to actually, you know, achieve what we went there to do. Mm-hmm. There were several, I mean, it could be different for any other person, but for us, we, we had to understand it that way, that, hey, um, we know we came here for the game, we know we came here to win, you know, we came here to make use of this platform, and this is happening. Yeah, we agree that this is happening, but let us not let it um, um, get us out of the game, like, you know, deviate us from what we actually wanted to do. So that was it for us, and it just, it was the flow, it was the vibe for both of us. Mm. And then we're keeping it cool and keeping it that way, keeping it simple, okay. no pressure. No pressure. Yeah. So now saying no pressure, like what, what what's next? Because of course we want to know. You carried us from the beginning. You cannot just leave us hanging. Now that you're out of the house, is this going to become something? Are you an item? Are you just trying to see how things go? Yeah, both of us are just literally trying to see how things go because I mean there's a lot going on basically. Everything is overwhelming at the point and we are very, you know, aspirational. We are very, you know, um, career driven people. So we know what we want to achieve. 
and the best thing we can do for each other is to you know support and encourage each other to achieve what we actually want to achieve with the platform so no pressure at all um we're taking it easy we're taking it slow and we're understanding you know the whole thing that we have and we're pushing mm. it yeah Liko, what about you? You know, right right now, where's your head at in terms of, you know, what you started in the house with Emmanuel and the fact that you've come out with to such, you know, an applause from the audience. People love you so much. You've seen your followership and I'm sure a lot of brands are calling you to endorse you and things like that. But then there's this thing that you started in the house with Emmanuel. Isn't, isn't it possible for there to be a balance, you know? balancing personal life and then your career or do you just not want to focus on that right now uh just like as i said we're like both um career driven and all of that so um we're good men or no are good the love's there you know but <laughs> we have so many things we want to achieve you know we want to use this platform well and you know, you guys, eh, don't rush. No don't rush. rush. Yeah, don't rush. I mean, easy, you, know, you know, you have a lot of money. We didn't go in there for a relationship. <laughs> we went there to and, achieve and things. Even though, like, so. well, why, why, oh, you, you didn't go there <laughs> for a relationship. I, I, I never went okay, for a relationship. Okay, you didn't go there for a relationship. I didn't go there so for a relationship. And we mm. never agreed to it, but it's not a decision that we have to, like, you know, yeah, jump in. Mm. Even, the, even in the house, like we had a conversation, like let's yeah. take it slow. Yeah. So yeah. there are basically other things we we want to achieve. It's not all about relationships. So don't rush me, people. So the my rose, the call lions, the yeah. rose army. <laughs> don't rush. This See, just career, just take a chill. Just chill. Mm. Yeah, it's not all about chill. relationships. Just stuff. chill. No we're good. We're good. Easy, guys. I'm speaking about relationships. White money. Are you here? White Guys, small. please, you have to pardon white money because he's super exhausted. Bele. Yes. All right, let's do this. Oh, let's do this. Let's talk about a few relationships in the house. It okay. seemed like, look here, there were women who liked you. We, we didn't really see it as aggressively as maybe after they left the house. For instance, like JMK had mentioned during a diary room session that you guys have a friendship, but mm. she wants to wait till she gets outside of the house to see you know, what, what happens. Yeah. What, what would you say about that, that friendship with JMK? Oh, it was an amazing, it's an amazing understanding we have. A good one. You understand, we're friends and we're cool. Um, she, she said it continuously, not to me, everybody, like she's not ready for anything serious. And besides, that was not my own problem. We just understood ourselves mm. as good friends. It's like a G. She's, there's someone you can communicate with easily. You understand? So we're very good. And what about Jackie B? Because we know that you said you you had a thing for her. But yeah. then with Michael, who clearly liked Jackie B, and you guys just called each other brothers for Minugu. Yeah. So knowing that your brother, so to speak, had a thing for Jackie B and you having a thing for Jackie B, how did you plan to, you know, walk through all of that? Yeah, Jackie and uh, Michael are way more in a better space than me and Jackie. Me and Jackie, we're still friends. We are friends. You understand? I can tell you that I like you. Doesn't mean I want to date you. Doesn't Oof. mean I'm gonna date you. Doesn't mean anything. Okay. Do you understand? But at the same time, like I said, we were just looking out for prospects that we could possibly chase outside. So Jackie and I were very good. Mm. And me and Michael, we've talked about everything. We're very good. There was no harms, no feelings, lost everything. We're good friends, and that's it. Okay. Cross mm. Sasuke Angel Queen. Who is it? Hey God Almighty, take your. Face. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh. Sasuke, Cross, Queen, and Angel, and who? Mm-mm. Just Sasuke, Angel, and Queen. What happened to them? Who, who, who Ash- out of this, this, these women are, is the one for you? Because that's what your your audience and your fans want to know. Cross I, the bus. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're all the ones. Eh? Hey. Yeah. How how is that going to be possible, Cross? Because they're all unique in their own ways. Fantastic. And they and they are really really special. So I really, really, you know, vibe with every one of them. It's just a vibe. They're amazing and they're my friends. And I really, really like wish them the best in everything they do because they're super, super talented and beautiful. So yeah. I like the fact that you use that word vibe because it, it seems like it's now a Nigerian man lingo. We are vibing. What does it mean? Now, please tell me, what does we are vibing mean? Okay. We are vibing doesn't mean I should have hopes that maybe tomorrow, you know, we are now in a relationship. But we're like, please put, put that in context. We are vibing how? Okay, what I mean we are vibing, I mean that right now, you as a human being, <laughs> you as a species. As a species, okay. And me as a human being, and me as a species. Okay. We are coming together <laughs> and we are unique. We are in a unique space and we are very, very attracted to each other. But we are just in, in a very big circle bubble, understanding each other. And eventually, 
if anything was to amount to anything outside, it is. So we are vibing. We are getting to know each other's energy. So your energy can be one. I can give you ten. You can give me forty. I can give you eighty like that. So it's a wave. Mm. So eventually, each of us get to a stage where we know that the vibing has gone to a stage where we know. Ah, uh, this can give something, or the vibe can go to a stage where you know, huh, this can be anything. Yeah. So that's pretty much how I think vibing is. Wow, this is vibing 101. Thank you very much. You're for welcome, this, gorgeous. Describing. You're welcome. <laughs> and by the way, you're so gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Uh, Are we vibing? Is this is this what's going on? I think I might decide to vibe with you. Wow. wow. Please help me ask. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pere. Yeah. Were you yeah. vibing with Maria? What was going on with you and Maria? Well, it was it was just two people who were in a confined space and who got to know each other to some extent. That was what it was. Um, yeah. And Maria is actually a very decent person. She's a lovable person. There's nothing not to there's nothing not to like about her. Mm-hmm. She's smart, intelligent, very witty, very lively, very loud. Uh, those were things that uh, I liked about her. <laughs> and the, you know what? What was quite interesting is like the tone at which you're talking and you're saying these things about Maria. Right. You know, I mean, do you think that you might have led her on to feel like, oh, there's a possibility outside of the house? No, of course not. Because I mean, she was very um, clear that she had a boyfriend, mm. and I told her at the same time. That I had a girlfriend, and she asked me, she says, oh, where's your girlfriend from? I said, Sierra Leone. Yeah, so we had that understanding. Hmm. But, you know, that was just a normal likeness. I liked a person, and um, that was just about it, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. General Parrot, you're on a roll today. <laughs> okay, so I have a few questions coming from the listeners. If I could get that particular phone sorry guys i have to go off for a second if you are watching live on um instagram because i did promise i made a promise like tuesday that if you have any questions bring it in and i would ask them any of your questions so if you want to do that right now just send a message to 809 Three, send that message. This is coming from uh, Chifudo saying, if you tell that vibe, vibing guy that a jealous listener said he should never leave the studio until he withdraws that statement that he made about you. They're not fighting with you, please. <laughs> um, this is coming from a listener saying, good afternoon to President Cross. I want to ask Cross why he left it so late before showing his talent. But even though... He was still able to stand out. Um, thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I think I had to get to know everyone first and understand my surrounding before I could decide to be myself. I don't just go into a place and that's, start showing yourself. You need to know who and who and what people think about each other and about you before you decide to open up. So that's the kind of person I am. So I'm sorry that it took me a minute to open up. If the show went longer, maybe I would have done more things, but I guess now you have to follow me into my world so I can show you more of my talents. All right, fantastic. This is coming from Chichi saying, finally, they're here at last. Tell Mazzy White Money that he actually came to BBN House like a prince. He went out a crowned king. I love his vibe. And she's also saying, would you like to respond to that? <laughs> Chichi, I love you. Thank you for believing in the Princeton King. Who do you tell me for you, my girl? I love you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Chichi went further saying, um, General Perry, I love your style. Liko Rose, your dancing is the best. Cross, you're a genius. Keep it up. Angel, you're a star. Emmanuel, you're lovely. You're also great. Go and conquer the world. Thanks. Uh, this is coming from Majid saying, Good afternoon to General Perry. Was your bromance with Saga um, real? Because I just like you guys' intellectual talk in the house. Yeah, Bromance with Saga was real. Saga was one of the first guys, like actually the first guy I connected with when I got in the house. Some people connections built over time. Some people it was instantaneous. Mm. With Saga, that uh, the instantaneous connection was real. And um, hey, we're still friends, Mike. 
Uh, uh, this is from Jesse, just talking about Cross, say, saying Cross is the real vibe. Cross is a cruise guy. Nice one, Cross. I love you, White Money, and good luck to everyone that's in the studio as well. Thank you. Whoa, the questions are pouring in, guys. So I'm probably going to take this last one, and then we're going to move on to other things. Um, this one is coming from... Uh, uh, Vasi saying, "I I couldn't under I couldn't understand Angel and Cross in the house, and I want to understand them more. Do you have any answer to that, Angel and Cross?" <laughs> okay, so um, like you said, we're pretty much just cruising, mm-hmm. like we were in the house. We're cool, and I mean, I'm his best friend, so I'm mostly at the back. Cheering him, and cheering him on, and like I'm that. sure he's doing the same. Mm. So it's basically the same thing that was in the house. We're just cruising, so everybody should chill. All right. So yeah. before we wrap this up, let's just get into some of the fights that happened in the house very quickly. Cross, let's start with you. You were very open about, you know, your struggle with dyslexia, and then you had an issue with Nini, which was very heated. Please take us through what your headspace was at the time, because you were so emotional at that time what was your headspace like at the time um i can't really i can't really remember mm. but i think i funny enough i just i as i said since i came out i don't want to watch anything so i'm taking my time to watch one or two things or people telling me so i literally watched that i think this morning mm. so and i just had a feeling of my emotions coming back so it's so funny that you're asking me that because i just literally watched that this morning but yeah oh, wow. remembering that and um it was one of the most um deepest thing that i think i ever did in that house honestly because i didn't know i was going to break down and i was very very good i swear to you i think it was what angel came and said that's why i think i will always fuck with angel for the rest of my life because radio radio ding 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 mind your language sorry sorry i'm so sorry yeah radio <laughs> uh, i think i'll always be there for angel because i think that really really and she didn't just come to say it because she thought I would feel better. I think she said it because she knew the right thing to say. And I think in this life, when people are going through a lot, you need to say the right things to them or just be there for them. You don't mm. have to say anything. You can just be for there. Because she not told me, I won't say anything if you don't want me to say, but I'm not going. I'll just you know, sit down here and cross. And she literally just sat down and crossed her yeah. hand. And I just looked at this girl and I was like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? She must be going through cuckoo or something. But yeah, that really, really, you know, touched me. I won't lie to you. And I'm an honest person, so I'll tell you that, yes, that day I really, really, really was sad because Nene really, really pushed a button in my, you know, in my heart. And I didn't know that um, I could ever get to that limit where someone would really, really push a button because at the end of the day, we are who we are. So she doing that, as I said, I didn't see it coming. But it's all love right now because I've forgiven her immediately after I took my shower and um, the whole thing left, I immediately forgave her and it was all vibes after then. So, yeah. All right, then. So, guys, you need to rush out now. But before that, as always, I have to play my game. Finally, this is going to be the final round. Tichima is like, not this game. So, the name of this game is Would You Rather. I'm going to read out a statement and I would like you guys to let me know what you'd rather do out of the different options that I'm going to give you. Okay, okay? got yeah, it? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, would you rather have everyone you know be able to, number one, read your thoughts, or number two, have access to your complete internet history for the past two years? I'd rather have someone have access to my entire internet is- history. Okay. I'd rather let them know all my thoughts. <laughs> okay. I'd rather... I'd rather have him have access to everything my in the history, but not my thoughts. Jeez, not your thoughts. What about you, Mano? See, I'm 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 too much of a deep thinker to let one person get into my mind. So I'd rather have them, you know, have access to my internet for twenty years. That's fine. Go ahead. For twenty years, fantastic. Uh, no what about you, Lagos? Nah, not this mind. Uh, definitely not my thoughts. <laughs> so your yeah. internet access. Uh, what about you, my money? Yeah, go out talk to me over there. Take it. Read my thoughts. Anything you see there, take it. Especially if you be woman or tell me. Oh my days. All right. (laughs) Would you rather have a pause or rewind button on your life? Pause, rewind, pause, rewind. Which would you rather have? Pause. 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 
Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Pause. Would you rather have respect or power? Power. I'm greedy. I'll say both. But uh, I'll take power though. Power. Power. Well, power because it comes with respect. Liquor Rose. <laughs> uh, man, respect, man. Respect is power. When you respect me, I have the power. All right. Finally, now that respect. you guys are celebrities, we know that uh, we're wow. going to be hearing a whole lot about you. So this last one is. Would you rather people spread terrible but true stories about you or beautiful but false stories about you? Terrible but true. Anything where you see, you take on like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm with her. Terrible but definitely true. I'd rather spread true stories, man. Even though they're terrible. Shit, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a god. I'm a human being. I'm not perfect. All right. Yeah, they can share terrible things and just keep talking and talking as far as it's true, no problem, because people are definitely entitled to their own opinion. So, yeah, that's it. What about you, White? Look up. Terrible. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> terrible. I think it's true, man. I'm true to myself, man. Yeah. Stay right. true to self. I like that. Okay, so, guys, what are we expecting from you guys going forward? Just very quickly, very, very quickly, what, what should we expect? From White Money Liquors, Emmanuel Perry, Cross, and Angel. Um, expect a single before the end of the year. Okay. Yeah. Expect great um, entertainment and business ventures, and expect Otamie Me money falling on everybody. I love that. <laughs> uh, expect an EP from me. Um, expect more songs. Cause I dropped a, a song with my crew. They dropped when I was in the house. Vibes. Girls got bored. And I spent my book, a novel, erotical novel, you know, written 18 things next year before Valentine's Day. I just expect a lot around the art, entertainment, and business so to double that money they said I won in the tax, you know. Like um, yeah, expect a lot. Expect a lot. Before I even got in, I've been into modeling. I've, I've had my businesses going on for me. I'm into real estate as well. And of course, my foundation. So, <laughs> Yeah, expect me the modeling lifestyle. That's me. Expect me being a big businessman. My salon, my um, fitness center, and basically any other business I can venture into. The um, real estate is definitely there, and of course my charity program, giving back to the society, because that's what I do for love. Thank you. Um, should I go next? Oh, I thought they were going like this. Yeah, okay. Well, expect the emblem on my neck. <laughs> but you know, expect I'm, I'm an actor, so definitely Nollywood and music for sure. Those two, and also giving back to society the best way I can. Mm. What about you, Cross? The boss. I'm expecting a hundred percent vibe with you. <laughs> and um, anywhere you want to take this vibe, to, I'm ready to take it to any place. And that's pretty much it. And um, take over the world. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Cross, you are a character. Have a good time. Show the world who I am. Perry and I, Perry has always told me that he thinks I'll do good in acting. So Yeah, probably you will actually. <laughs> I think you we're seem gonna, like you have that gonna, character. We're going to try that out. My restaurant, I have a restaurant business. Me and my partner, Gem House in Abuja. Fantastic. So we're trying to push that more forward. My fitness brand, Protein Shake. Okay. And um, health in general. All right. You know, and um, my crossover night thing. We want to do it in all over the world. Cross overnight. Fabulous. Yeah. All so, right. Yeah, we'll do that all over the world. And I'll build mental health place for her. <laughs> for Angel. Yes. All right. Um, for me, expect, you know, my mental health blog. I said I was going to start that. That's a conversation that we don't have enough in this country. Uh, Leading up to the mental health blog is my mental health charity like I want to start a mental health charity so I it's basically that. me giving financial help to those who need it um, expect my book launch this year or next year okay. expect me going into real estate because okay. I want to have an apartment complex of my own expect me going to film school after all the noise that is done because I want to create film expect my salon and spa okay. and I also want to be an arch our curator so basically mm -hmm. I want to own a studio and um, you know mostly for you chat where um, they come, they display yeah. their art, people buy their art, yes. they give me my commission, they get their commission. Fantastic. Also, ex expect my, like I said, there were so many things that I went through as a young woman that um, was so called, I didn't really have anyone to rely on. So, expect the organization. So, I'm already drafting proposals because, I mean, it's going to take a lot of effort. Yeah. So, 
Thank you so much, guys. And thank you for the entertainment you brought our way for those days in the house. And we wish you nothing but the absolute best. We are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk.